Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. In today's video, we're going to discuss Unleashed Potential of Faded Heroes. So this is a part one, I think, of a five-part series or a four-part series. I'm not sure yet. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, welcome to our second Unleashed Potential video. The first one that we had was for generals. I'll put the link up there so that you may take a look at it later. But for this one, this will be an Unleashed Potential video for Faded Heroes. These are technically your lieutenants. So this video will feature um, the following, the following um, Faded Heroes. So you have Rudley, Rera, Valentina, Shakan, Jin, Naomi and Sewa. So they are your lieutenants and they are the first batch of faded heroes that I'll feature for Unleashed Potential. So just um, just take note first before um, you unleash the potentials of, of any hero because again it's really hard to find the, the, the materials for them. Um, number one is always check for um who you want to unleash first okay um in the hierarchy of things um it's, it's preferable that you have that you need to unleash first generals before before the, the lieutenants so this batch because uh, generals affect a lot of people in terms of their their what they, their, their passive skills and also you need to address as well on what skills or stats do you need to increase and to address first so first is who and what skills and stats also take note of their fate course because some fate course have new stats that you need to um, you need to take note before you do unleash potential like for example I'll start off with Redley so for Redley let's take a look at his um, uh, skill, so he needs to be he needs to be um, increased in health and also in yeah in health. But when you look at his fate core, I don't have FC Rally's fate core. I'm sorry, so I need to I need to <laughs> take a look at um where he's at so he's here once you're in his fate core just a, just a preparation if you if you want to get him so you need also to increase his so again for current health but the other one is defense so you also need to increase his defense stat to also make sure that you give an increased defense based on your your defense percentage and defense of, on on own defense yeah on on redley this will be based on redley's defense so this is very important for redley so to start with redley let's go back to his to his uh what do you call this to his unleash potential so let's go here so my recommendation is you and un you unleash his potential under um, stamina first because you need to increase his health here and his health here and you eventually will need sorry this one so grants man to self when the round starts so this is actually good for him the second one that I would highly recommend is his defense because as you've seen in his fate core you will need defense so you go through this route defense here and defense here and ultimately for his niche potential skill effect sorry resets turn one time per round if old mana is under three after skill hits i think that's the same for this one yes so for redley stamina first then defense next would be rara so Rera is the lieutenant of Bathory. So for Rera, I've, I've advanced checked um, her FC. Um, no, no other implication in terms of her FC. So I'll go straight to her 
to her skills so also for her skills i've also checked it there there are no um stats that you need to increase um for her you should focus on stamina as well because you will need to you need you will need to basically reach this one the initial potential effect for additional 1000 pierce damage this is actually good and you also you go through health as well and i think there's also a speed here yeah speed increase for rara as well so go through the stamina and the other one is you go to attack because she's she's an attack based um uh, hero you will need this one as well the bind for two turns and it also is here but i would suggest you prioritize attack because she's a, an attack base character and you increase her attack here as well okay so next would be um valentina so valentina is the lieutenant of uh Shufraken. actually she's the she's the daughter of Shufraken, so sorry she's the daughter lieutenant okay so for Sh for for valentina you don't have any anything of a stat that you should need increased so for her kit you you her a niche potential you start with stamina because you'll need additional number one stamina for additional health for survivability and you have to reach this one for additional damage for pierce the second one would be um defense tree because uh, Valentina doesn't need really to deal a lot of damage she needs to land her bind and mana burn skill or sorry mana bind and mana burn effect so you need her to survive because she has she has um her attack speed is pretty much very low and and she's the last to go usually so she needs to survive the round for her to apply either her s1 or her s2 bind and mana burn so for unleash potential for defense you'll get another bind as well but i think for her this is not needed but you can get this anyway but you have the option not to get this one anymore so stamina and defense um because for her survivability next lieutenant that i'm talking about is sia khan so he is the lieutenant of rachel so again nothing nothing important for him or his fc to what he call this to to enhance in terms of stat so we'll go to his unleash potential so unleash potential for for shakan is you start with stamina because number one he is a he is a defensive character he needs to block and he needs to apply block to the other heroes so health as well and you have to get this one this is a good um passive for an each potential reduces all allies damage by 15 percent so can't be stacked with other similar um similar uh, abilities and after after this one obviously you have to go to the defense tree because he's a defense character so you need to increase his defense and for his addition potential deals additional 45 percent of own defense when at the attack hits again you'll need to make sure that he you you go through the defense tree and also once you go to the attack um so deals additional 15 percent of own defense when attack hits similar to your defense tree okay next is Jin. So Jin is also the lieutenant of uh, of Jinai. So again, I checked his skills uh, for his regular form and for FC, no implications in terms of stats. So we move on to his unleash potential. So again, for Jin, you need to go through stamina because he also needs survivability in terms of health but you would would you would want to need you would want this one the deals 1000 piercing damage when attacking because he needs a little bit of attack damage 
in a way compared to baraka he, he has less damage um that he deals compared to baraka so and also once you're done with the stamina you could either go defense or attack but i would prefer you go with attack because he's an attack based character so or hero so you go to this one increase attack increase speed but you will have to get this one eventually for the bind bind is they they don't gain mana for two turns so that is the skill and that is what it's all about so you can actually spam this one if you have enough mana there's only one mana cost for this spell okay so let's move on to naomi naomi is the where's naomi naomi is the lieutenant of uh dorka correct dorka sorry but, but actually but actually um naomi is the queen so i'm not sure if she can be the, the lieutenant but anyway she's the second in command in terms of hierarchy among faded that's what i want to tell you guys so again for her for her skills so s1 none but for her s2 you need to increase her health because of this one there's a multiplier for um, to increase the health own maximum health by 46 percent so also increase own defense by 51 percent so sh this is in terms of shared health so you know where i'm going at so when you take a look at her her niche potential you go first with don't go first with defense go with stamina because you need health of course because of her s2 but also you need this one the reduces all allies damage by 15 percent can't be stacked you need this one first then you go next to your defense tree which increases all defense by uh, all defense for six turns by 15 percent of own defense so i think she has this as well here but for additional damage deals additional 30 percent of own defense when attack hits so again you go with stamina and you go with defense the last um, lieutenant that i wanted to feature here would be sewa i hope i'm pronouncing her name right it's sewa or se s a s a o a or no it's 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 sewa anyway for sewa for her skills again you need to increase her health and yeah that's it health i actually i would say it was one unique passive actually not 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 really unique but there are only a few in this in this uh, what they call this in 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 the fated heroes um she needs to increase her health right so you start with a stamina tree health health here but if you look at her unleashed potential she reduces damage against all allies by 30 percent I've seen other characters have this one. I think it's only Seowa, Ramji, and Shell that has this one. The 30% reduce damage by 30%. And this is big. If you intend to bring Seowa in terms of... Um, I, I'm interested in bringing her in PvP tag. So please make sure that you have this on her. You finish the tree first. Then you go next to... This one, um, the defense tree for additional defense. So maximum health, this additional damage. And this one is grand status effect immunity one time self can't be stacked. Okay, so anyway guys, um, that is all for this video. Um, please put some comments below any suggestion comments uh, on on what they call is on the niche potential part one um also don't forget to subscribe to my channel this really helps um, me put out good content and also um put out uh, regular content as well anyway guys this is it for me so this is the warden and i'm out